What is going on everybody? Welcome to another Python Robotics tutorial video. In the last video we programmed our little car here to go forward and backwards. Now we actually want to make the car be able to turn maybe left or right. So that's the next thing that we want to do. So let's go ahead and do that. So uh, to start let's do sudo nano and I guess we'll just continue editing robot2.py. So robot2.py enter and so here's our code from before. We've got our forward and reverse and now maybe we want to get some turns on. So first of all, let's go ahead and delete these. We don't need to run these anymore. We're confident that they work. Now let's define a turn underscore left for a time frame. One, two, three, four. Our typical initiation. One, two, three, four. And now we want to begin. So to turn left, uh, first we're going to want to have seven true. So GPIO to output. 7 true and then we're going to want to have for left 11 is true and really everything should be true except for 15 so gpio.output 11 true gpio.output 13 true and gpio.output 15 false and now don't forget your Time dot sleep for time frame, and then the thing we forgot before, GPIO dot cleanup. Actually, we forgot the sleep and the cleanup. Really, <clears throat> uh, I guess what we'll do is we'll run this one first just to make sure it works. Turn left one. So in order for this to turn left, uh, let's go ahead and say yes. In order for this to turn left. Since forward is on screen to go right, to turn left would mean the closest wheels to us must spin to turn left. So let's go ahead and run that. So sudo python robot2.py. And sure enough, the closest wheels to us did spin. Let me look at it. Again. Yep. Okay. And they spun the right direction. So we're confident in that uh, that would make us turn left. Or at least we expect that it would. We have yet to really test it. Um, but we assume so. So now let's go ahead and get turn right. So let's go sudo nano robot2.py. Come all the way down to the bottom. And let's define turn underscore right time frame. Same with our initiate. And now everything is, you guessed it, flipped. So false, 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 true. So gpio.output seven, false. gpio.output 11, false. gpio.output 13, false. And finally, gpio.output 15 will be true. Time sleep for time frame and gpio.cleanup and that's our turn right function so now what we can do is we can actually just say instead of turn left we want it to turn right for one second exit save yes over right and now the wheels farthest from us to make it turn right should spin forward so sudo python robot2.py hit enter and we did something wrong obviously because the wheels closest to us spun and they just spun in reverse. Uh, okay, let's go, let's do sudo nano robot2.py forward, reverse, turn left, turn right, false, 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 true. Let's see, 11, here's what we need. So 11 should be true, and I think 15 should actually be our false there. So let's try that one. Oops. Dot pi, enter. And now let's run robot2.py again. Okay, I think we got it now. Yeah, that looks to be the correct direction. So let's go back, sudo nano robot2.py, and see what we did wrong. So, forward, reverse, right, left, and then turn right. 
So the actual difference here is um, 7 is false, 11 is true, 13 and 15 are false. Okay, so now we've got a turn left, a turn right, a forward, and reverse. Now the only other things that we might want to have it would be some sort of pivot. And then after that, uh, we'd want a way to actually control this rather than having to pre-type it in. So in the next video, what we'll be doing is we'll code in a couple of pivots. So it'll pivot instead of, because like when it turns like this, it's going to have to move forward. It's going to have to gain forward ground. Whereas with a pivot, in theory, it would move just in place and just spin in place. So that's what we're going to code in the next video. As always, thanks for watching.